Mycoplasma. They put mycoplasma fermentans incognito in, on purpose in our prisoners and in our U.S. Armed Forces just to experiment. And the experiment started on the, with the Nazi doctors who were incorporated into our facilities, such as the medical facilities down near Coronado Naval Base and other medical schools all across America and Canada. All the advanced biological weapons, including mycoplasma research, originated in Nazi Germany. We just grafted the Third Reich because we're the fourth. Spirochetes, mycoplasma fermentans, and of course you have Dr. Garth Nicholson from the Institute of Molecular Medicine here in California. He wrote a book called uh, Operation Daily. He changed all the names in other places and so on so he wouldn't spend the rest of his life either in prison or in court by our lawyers who are phonetically close to liars. Chemtrails. And uh, chemtrails, by the way, barium salts are in chemtrails. They are 10,000 times more toxic to your nervous system than lead. They contain mycobacteria, viruses, Pseudomonas florensis, bacteria, human plasma. Hmm, wonder what human plasma is doing in chemtrails. And this is not by conjecture. I did a lot of research before I'd ever say this, but these chemtrails are nasty. And there's three reasons for chemtrails. The first is they, and I talked to my NSA buddies at Fort Carson, Peterson Air Force Base at Buckley, where I was actually their doctor taking care of the pilots flying and spraying the chemtrails. So I know it's real. If anybody says it's not real, they're full of it. Okay, because I'm a whistleblower on the inside, it's not open for discussion. And my NSA buddies told me, 95% of them told me, they were up there trying to spray to reflect the sun out to stop global warming. So most of them are dumb enough to believe that garbage. Okay? And also in the chemtrails, and there's a link directly that Jeff Rance has found out, and I'm going to have Dr. Staninger and Dr. Uh, Karju uh, on in about a week on my radio show. And I've done some investigations, and there's very solid evidence now that Morgellons is caused by a silicon-based nanomachine life form that does not originate on planet Earth. Is that not interesting? This is a silicon-based life form that is intelligent like bees or ants, and it fights back. Conversion of the atmosphere into a plasma for weather modification, geotectonic warfare, Scalar mind control technologies, the woodpecker, uh, which has been discovered back in the 70s, HARP, the Tetris system in the United Kingdom, Gwen Towers in the United States, and the Iridium uh, satellite system connected to the cell towers and the smart highways is all based on not only sending out a signal to track you, but Nokia, which is one of the leading cell companies, has figured out a new way to cut down the need for increasing amount of signal by three to five times as many cell phones in the same signal area by beaming the signal directly to you. But they can also, besides the cell signal, they can actually have a biocoded signal to your DNA to affect your physiology and insert thoughts into your mind. And they have this technology today. And Nokia is directly involved. If you go to these cell phone companies, either Bell Laboratories or you go over to Nokia, over there in Helsinki, what you'll find is that these are highly classified and you have NSA agents, NSA agents and above government technology, top secret and above top secret all over the place. This is not a place for making cell phones. It is a place for dialing up your cortex.